to be solution. There are some application where we want an only limited rotation, some 60 degree, 90 degree, 100 degree, etc. And there are some application where we want continuous rotary motion. So we want an RPM, revolution per minute, that can be achieved. So these are two types. Now in a limited rotary actuator, transmit the torque with rotation of shaft less than 360. So this is that less than 360. And in that, we are having wind type of limited rotary actuator, dual piston type of limited rotary actuator. In hydraulic motors, I convert pressure energy into continuous rotation. So this is called as hydraulic motors. So if you are getting a continuous rotational motion, then that is called as hydraulic motors. Next type is gear type of hydraulic motor. Under hydraulic motor, we are having this type. Gear type of hydraulic motor, wind type of hydraulic motor, piston type of hydraulic motor. These are motor and these, this will be given a continuous rotary motion at the outlet. In the hydraulic motor, now we are going to focus more on hydraulic motor because it has a wide application. And let us see some of the features of the hydraulic motor. The hydraulic motor are found increasing in industrial and mobile industrial applications. So as I told you, the rotary motion has a wide application. So hydraulic motor can be used wide variety in the industry. Hydraulic motor sources obtain continuous rotary motion offer following advantage over the conventional source of obtaining rotary motion example is electric motor you will find that the continuous rotary motion is also available with the electric motor but this particular hydraulic motor has a numerous application numerous advantages over the electric motor now what are its advantages compactness in size is the most important advantage it offers it has the highest power to weight ratio so you will find that the hydraulic motor is more compact than that of the electric motor wide range of speed the speed which we can achieve with hydraulic motor is from very small to very high it may not be possible to get say 5 rpm or 10 rpm with the electric motor but the hydraulic motor can give you wide range of speed next is a frequent starting stopping reversing and sudden stop are possible with the control walls so by using this control wall the hydraulic motor we can start stop